How can we use AI to explore alternative versions of our favorite products? In a previous video, we used DALI to generate pencil sharpeners in the maximalist style of design. If you don't know what DALI is, DALI is a image generation model by a company called OpenAI. You use it by entering text known as a prompt and getting back images. It's really that simple. Maximalism is a style that is characterized by its use of excessive amounts of materials, colors, patterns, and details. Compared to the minimalism we've seen for the past 15 years, I think maximalism is a challenging, refreshing take on modern design. It's one of those things that looks chaotic and really easy to do, but actually it takes a lot of skill because you still have to follow the principles of design. I wondered if Dali was capable of making more maximalist style products. This is what I found out. Right off the bat, it definitely used a lot more color, and I especially love the backgrounds Dali always generates for maximalist kinds of products. A toaster's a good start, but let's take something like the Tesla Cybertruck and see what it could look like in the maximalist style. Now, these final outputs that Dali came up with, they don't look quite as much like the original, but I still think there's some interesting ideas and things going on here. Everyone is working from home nowadays. Could you see yourself working in a place like this? I love the background in this one. This one has a lot going on, but somehow it still works. Let's take a look at some logos. I started with the Coca-Cola logo because I felt just by the shape of it, it's almost meant for something like maximalism. I also wonder if they've incorporated this kind of maximalist style in the past, and maybe this is just a reflection of training data. The McDonald's logo was definitely next. It just made sense to follow up Coke. One of the most iconic logos of all time. I almost get this like 90s feel from this version of the McDonald's logos. There's something about the Maxima style that just reminds me of that. I made a sharp turn and I wondered what would medical equipment like a defibrillator look like in the Maxima style. Typically medical equipment is the same bland kind of gross kind of look, but what, what would happen if we added some flair to it? Now obviously this may have practical downsides, it may have some usability downsides, we wouldn't be able to access it and use it, uh, especially if we're in a rush, but I still think it's an interesting thing to explore. Now we're gonna look at some basketball shoes. I frankly loved all of these concepts that Dali came up with. I would wear any of these. The only challenge would be finding clothes that go with it. I guess they'd have to be maximalist too. I love how expressive these shoes are and I'm surprised how well they still work despite how much stuff they have going on. Next, we're gonna be looking at maximalist armchairs, and in this case, I think the results speak for themselves. They're interesting, they have a lot going on, I think they're true to the design style, they're fun, colorful, and I just found Dali was able to come up with so many maximalist armchairs, it felt like I could've spent all day just looking at them. It was incredible. Part of the reason I chose maximalism for this video, I actually think because Dali has seen so many images, probably more so than any human will ever see in their life, it's more suited to maximalism, that it can combine all these different elements from various images it's seen in ways that a human simply cannot. However, this theory still needs to be proven out. I think it's, you know, it's a research question, but still an interesting thing to think about. Finally, maximalism was cool and all, but I wanted something more ambitious. 
So I thought, why don't we leave this planet altogether? You're looking at now spaceships in the maximalist style. This is something you may not probably see NASA do within the next five to 10 years, unless they seriously, seriously have a big meeting about their design practices. If you're interested in taking a look at the original high full resolution images which DALI generated, which were used in this video, I'm going to be posting them on my Twitter account. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like this video and are subscribed to my channel for more upcoming videos on DALI 2. See you in the next one.